guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka today we're going to be trying the Tammy X Revolution Carnival palette oh my god I've been dying to try this I've been getting so many requests to use this on my eyes so yeah I saw Tammy create so many good looks with it it looks amazing it looks pigmented and I love her first like I think it's the tropical paradise palette before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. <coughs> my voice is like going. Today's one's going to go to Cookie the Budgies. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Or you can just leave a nice comment. Here's a close up of the palette and I'm going to open it, I'm going to open it. Ooh. Wait, let me take the sticker off. She did mention that. It, the team thought it would be better to put the names on the back to be honest i'm not too fast because it's on the back anyways at least there's names somewhere i really don't like i've said this before like when there's a sheet of names because i always lose this so it's not helpful when i'm doing tutorials and i'm pointing to a color like it's more helpful to have names but it's not a big deal you know i just stuck my finger in there what the hell so these are the shades they look really 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 nice I feel like my camera's not doing it justice. Hello. That's more like it. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Ooh, should I do two different eye looks? I'm just gonna prime at one eye first. This is my Tarte Shape Tape, by the way. I think I'm gonna take Girlies. I'm really tempted to do the look that I've done in my previous video, but we don't wanna do that, so. I'm going to use some purples today. And to be honest, purples are really hard. Like, when palettes have purples, sometimes they don't come out the best. But this... I'm doing a halo, I don't care. <laughs> Actually, do I want to do halo eye? Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do halo eye. I'm so indecisive today. What the hell's going on? Not really worrying too much about blending. Just want to like really pack that color and bring it slightly in too, in the crease. See, so now I'm going to take another blending brush and I'm going to grab the shade Pink Panther. This shade's been catching my eye, so I'm just going to use this to kind of help blend that purple. I'm now just going back with the purple and just kind of just blending it into the pink a bit more. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to cut the crease. Gosh, the birds are so loud. I'm now going to take a bit of the orange shade, which is the shade Spiced Island, I believe. Yeah. So then the next shade I'm taking is Calypso, which is like a lime green. I did wet my brush as well. But that is a nice colour. I don't know where this look is going, but just gotta go with the flow. I'm gonna take a small I'm just gonna take a blending brush for the orange and just blend between the purple and the orange. <laughs> so that's one side done. I'm really tempted to do more green and bronze on the other side. I'm loving this side. I'm really tempted to do the same, but I really want to experiment with this palette. I mean, this is why I'm doing this video. So I think I'm going to start with a green now. So I'm going to take the shade. Definitely. I'm going to pop this. Whoa, look at that green. It's hard because when I'm concentrating, I'm trying to do these looks like I barely talk. 
let me just talk and give my impression to be honest let me just go through this like everything here was pigmented like that lime is so stunning i'll do a close-up in a bit when i've done the look but and that orange everything blended nicely nothing went weirdly patchy because i feel like these days a lot of palettes they go really pigmented and sometimes when you layer them they go like that anastasia subculture palette like they they go like blotchy and, and some of the colors don't work together so this one like everything worked so nicely it blended so easily and i'm all about that like yes and it's only 10 pounds what what don't worry if it's like messy because like we'll do a cut crease anyways what goes well with green i don't know should you just go with the orange so now i'm taking some of that orange i'm gonna try and blend these two together Don't want it to go muddy. And it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm just gonna cut the crease again. I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna take the shade Spiced Rum. What? And then on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna grab the shade right next to it, which is Notting Hill. I'm gonna pack this. in between those two colors now I'm going to use some of the midnight chaos eyeliner by NYX and I'm going to use this black shade okay, so now we can take our makeup wipe clean that edge actually also surprised how there's also minimal fallout right i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back all right guys i'm now back so ugh, my hair could be a bit better but let's just ignore that anyways onto the shadow honestly it looks so so bomb like i really like this eye as well but this one i feel like i could have done better on the color combination but it does look nice anyways maybe these bronzy colors could be like a bit more intense that's the only thing i could say but these ones this line was so like on point um everything blended so nicely everything is so pigmented but like i said i wish i'm so used to like sparkly shimmer shadows so maybe this is more of like a metallic so maybe that's why i'm saying it should be a bit more shimmery i probably would have liked it better if there were some glitter particles in the bronze that's just my opinion but nevertheless it's still a really nice shade packaging itself feels very sturdy and i also really appreciate the big mirror in here too the design on it is so so pretty as well so just thought i'd point that out but yeah i'm really 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 happy and also you can't go wrong with the 10 pounds it's just so affordable if you want a nice colorful palette I definitely recommend this. I think she did a really, really good job with this palette, with the price point, with the pigmentation, with the blendability, with the colour options. If you like playing with eyeshadows, this is the one. And if you just want something affordable. I think that's all I have to say, guys. Let me do a quick um, close-up. So here I put the purple in my on my lower lash line and I put the green just to make it match. And yeah. I'm just going to like a wet brush. I don't know why I wear it to be honest. It's a matte shade. Just want a little bit of pop of colour. And we also need to test out the yellow and I didn't really touch out touch the yellow. Yes.
yeah that yellow is really really nice it really pops out it's more of like a mustard yellow which i love you guys know i love that color so just the fact that that yellow is in there just makes this palette even better so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this review oh my god my chest does not match my face but let's just ignore that i hope you guys enjoyed this review and congratulations to tammy on this really 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 beautiful palette i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye